Spirometry is a breathing test that is used to assess how well your lungs are working. It measures how much air you can inhale, how much air you exhale, and how quickly you can exhale. Spirometry is used to diagnose respiratory related illnesses such as asthma or COPD and other conditions that can affect your breathing. It can also be used to monitor your lung function over time to assess the response to medication or disease progression and severity. The test may be carried out just once or repeated more frequently your doctor will know what is best for you depending on your lung condition. Spirometry is a safe test. Some people will find it easy, but like many things, each person will experience it differently. Because you have to try and blow out for as hard as you can and as long as you can, some people will find it tiring. Remember to tell the person that is performing the test if you're feeling nervous or if you had trouble doing the test in the past. They will reassure you and help you to relax. You can bring some water with you to take a drink or ask for some if you don't have any. If you don't understand something during the test, be sure to ask them to explain again. They are happy to do this if it means you get a good quality test with meaningful results. You should not smoke or vape prior to the test. Avoid vigorous exercise and wear comfortable clothing. Avoid a large meal prior to testing, however you are not required to fast. If it is your first time performing a lung function test, you may or may not be required to withhold your inhalers on the day of the test. This will be decided by the referring healthcare professional or the protocol of your local testing centre. Please do bring a list of your inhalers with you on the day of the test. The test can take place in the respiratory lab within the hospital, the hospital outpatients department, in your GP surgery or local primary care centre or community hub. If it is your first time it can take a little longer to complete. When called in for your test you will be asked to remove your shoes and coat so that we can measure your height and weight accurately. After you put your shoes back on, you will then be brought into the testing room and will be asked to take a seat. You will remain seated for the duration of the test to ensure your comfort and safety. Studies have shown that sitting does not affect your lung function compared to standing. Before we can commence the test, you will be asked about your medications, smoking history and general suitability for performing the test. Before beginning your spirometry, it will be explained to you or demonstrated to you. So Damien, the breathing test today will involve breathing in and out of a mouthpiece on the machine on front of you while wearing the nose peg on the nose. So I'm going to get the mouthpiece set up now, okay? Now Damien, so this is the most disposable mouthpiece that the breathing ta test takes place on. So I'll pop this on here, okay? So you'll be putting your teeth and lips around this mouthpiece for the breathing test, and this nose peg goes on your nose. So all the breathing will be through your mouth. So if you hold on to that, okay? Yeah. You don't need to put it on yet. I'll let you know when we're ready to start. Thank you. I'm going to explain now how to do the breathing test. So you'll put your teeth and lips on the mouthpiece. Damien, you'll start off normal breathing to, to begin. I'll ask you then to take as deep as breath in as you can, and as soon as you're full, I want you to blast the air out as hard as you possibly can and keep exhaling and pushing out the air for as long as you can until you're fully empty. And when you're empty, I'll ask you to take a huge deep breath back in, as deep as breath as you can, okay? And then you'll come off and have a rest. And we will be repeating this test a few times. So don't worry if you don't get it on the first attempt, you'll get lots of practice, Thank okay? You. Yeah. So if you want to take your mask off now, we're just going to make sure this is okay for height. If you can get your teeth and lips around the mouthpiece and pop the nose peg on and put the teeth and lips around the mouthpiece, keep the lips tight. Just 
normal breathing now to begin. Now, normal breathing in and out to start. That's perfect, and another normal breath. And another normal breath. One more normal breath. Now, Damien, take a deep breath. Up, 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 Blow quick. Keep going all the way out. Squeeze it out. You're nearly there. Just a few more seconds. Keep going. And a deep breath in. And come off. Come off the machine. Well done. Excellent. Take a rest. Perfect. Well done, Damien. That was a really good effort there. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Perfect. So, Damien, that was an excellent effort. Just on the next attempt, when you're exhaling maximally, I need it to empty out a little bit further. I know you might feel like you're fully empty, but there's a little bit of air left there right. that you might not feel, but the machine will pick it up. So keep that pressure going out just for a little bit longer if you can. Okay. So that was an excellent effort. Are you okay to try another one? I would. Brilliant. So when you're ready again, Damien, we'll try. So just keeping the lips tight, nice and relaxed breathing. Perfect. Now take a deep breath. Up, 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 blow quick. Keep going. Gently out now at the end. You're nearly there. Just two more seconds, Damien. And a deep breath in. And take a rest. Come off the machine. Have a rest. Come off the machine. Excellent. So, Damien, we have two very good efforts there, but we do need to get a minimum of three reproducible results. So we will try one more. Are you feeling okay? Would you like a break? Could I get a little break and get some more water, please? Yeah, no problem at all, absolutely. We'll get you some water you. there. Take a little break there, all Thank right? You. Thanks very much. So when you're ready, you can put the nose peg on, put your mouth around the mouthpiece, and it's normal breathing to begin, keeping the lips tightly sealed. Excellent. Your doctor may want to measure the effect of an inhaler on your airways. This is called a bronchodilator response. When this is performed, the spirometry is repeated about 15 to 20 minutes after taking the inhaler to see if there is an improvement. So I'm going to explain to you now how I'm going to give it to you. So I will ask you to blow out all the way to the front, put your mouth around the mouthpiece and take a big deep breath in and you're going to hold the breath for a few seconds and then relax and we're going to repeat that a total of four times. Okay. Okay. Now Damien, you can take a rest for the next 15 minutes and we'll try the other test then again, okay? Thank you very much. Perfect. Now Damien, the 15 minutes are up, so we're going to repeat the breathing test now again to see if the inhaler will make any difference to your results. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going to start. So pop the nose peg on the nose. If you can get the teeth and lips around the mouthpiece, make sure you're sitting nice and comfortably and it's normal breathing in and out. Now take a deep breath, up, 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 blow, quick. Keep going, keep going, Damien, nearly there. Two more seconds, squeeze it out, nearly there, big breath in, and come off. Excellent, well done, and have a rest. That was a really good effort there, Damien, well done. Are you feeling okay? All good. Well done. Thank you. So we've one done there, but we do need to get a minimum of three, so we have at least two more to repeat, okay? So whenever you feel ready, we're going to try another one again. Take your time, so when you're ready, let's go. So lips tight, normal breathing. Now take a deep breath, up, 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 blow quick. Keep going, keep going, Damien, you're nearly there. Squeeze out a little bit more, keep going, big breath in, and come off, excellent. Well done, Damien, super. Damien, that is the test complete, okay? So what happens next? The doctor is going to have a look at your results and he's going to interpret them and then you'll get the results from your doctor. Thank you. That was a really good effort, da Damien. How did you find it yourself? The last bit was tough, the, the squeezing out the last breath when I was getting to two. I thought there was nothing there and you, were, you could obviously see it, yeah, but it was really yes. good. Just that is a little bit more difficult. Absolutely, that is the difficult part, is really emptying out there fully, but you've done it really well after a few practices, that was great. Thank you. The test can also be done on a small handheld device.
The test efforts will be repeated about three to eight times so that we get your best results. As you can see, this test does require a lot of effort and therefore you may find the test to be tiring and may feel fatigued afterwards. Rest will be given between each attempt. However, if you require a longer break or some water, please don't hesitate to ask the physiologist. Generally, the test results will not be discussed with you by the person carrying out the test. The report will be given to the doctor who ordered the test and they will discuss the results with you. Two of the main readings we measure during a spirometry test are called the FVC and FEV1. These results give us information on the size of your lungs and tell us about the amount of air you can exhale at force in the first second of the blow. These numbers are very useful. They can be used to determine the severity of obstruction in airways caused by a disease such as COPD and be used to help guide treatment. Dr. O'Connell is a consultant respiratory doctor at St. James's Hospital. He will now talk to you about understanding the results of the spirometry test. Come on in. Hi, Dr. O'Connell. How are you now? How are you? Good, Good to see thank you. you. Come on in and grab a seat. So, I hope you're keeping well. All good, hopefully. So, you've had your airway function measured by spirometry this morning. Yeah. How would you find the test? Not too severe? No, but the last part, the last two seconds of breathing out was much more complex than I thought it was going to be. It was harder. Yeah, the test doesn't mean a lot unless the staff get you to take an absolute full breath in. That's essential and they've got to get you to really empty yeah. your lungs. And that last bit at the end, pushing the air out and out, and you think you're empty, but they keep you going for that essential to get that bit right at the end. That was the hard part. You did very well. Technically, Thank the you. test was absolutely perfect. Just to explain you what, to you what the test was about, our lungs have two main components, okay? So it has, they have breathing tubes, the windpipe and the bronchi, which go out into the lungs. And those tubes conduct air from the outside world down into the depths of our lungs as we breathe in and out. And the other component is the alveoli, or the spongy lung tissue, where oxygen is transferred across into the blood and carbon dioxide is transferred out. And spirometry that you had this morning measures the function of the breathing tubes, or airway function. Okay? The good news for you is that your airway function is absolutely perfect, 100%, nothing wrong with it. So in your case, we are not worried that you might have any of the disorders that we are checking for, such as asthma, COPD, or perhaps other disorders. So excellent news, uh, perfectly healthy airways, and you probably don't need to come and see us a lot. Perfect, anyway. thank you. Okay, Damien? Thank you. All right, the best of luck for now. All right. Thanks for watching. If you have any concerns around lung disease, please talk to your doctor. You can also find more information on the links below. Take care.